I'm here at the Dahlonega Literary Festival with Frances Mays, author of the best-selling books Under the Tuscan Sun and Under Magnolia and many others. And we just want to talk a little bit about the festival and how much fun we're having. How are you today, Frances? I'm wonderful and I'm just thrilled to be in Dahlonega. It is such a beautiful town. I've never been here and it's just a special jewel. And it's a fun place to have a festival. We noticed that the authors really enjoy coming and visiting with each other and enjoying the town. How could they not? And I've already been to two restaurants. They've both been wonderful, which is always a bonus for me because I'm such a food nut. Oh, no, I agree. <laughs> well, uh, Under Magnolia describes your early life in the South and your roots. What was the impetus for you deciding to explore this in your writing? Well, I moved back to the South after a lifetime in California. And when I was unpacking and getting settled in North Carolina, I came across a stash of diaries I had kept when I was nine years old and 10 years old. And I came across lists of books that I'd read and just somehow coming back after a long absence and finding all this kind of primary material kind of put me in a space that I wanted to explore the past. I know you talk about that in the book, and a lot of us who grew up in the South and moved off and have come back can really relate to that. I think there's something about the South that, that's just in our blood. It still feels deeply familiar to me. Of course, the South has changed so much from when I was growing up, but it still has that really deeply familiar feeling. Do you find any similarities between Tuscany and the Appalachian area? Oh, I find so many similarities between living in Tuscany and the South I knew when I was growing up. Well, this area, of course, is beautiful like Tuscany, but uh, that southern sense of hospitality, kind of the generosity of the people, their love of the table and who's at the table and what's being said and what's being served and that whole connection with uh, food as kind of a central cultural metaphor, very close. Absolutely. Um, obviously, you've done a lot of traveling to have gone to Italy, where, where you fell in love. Is, are you uh, still traveling? Do you enjoy traveling, or have you had enough? Never enough. I started wanting to pack my bag when I was three years old, and I've been packing ever since. My father always said our family motto was packing and unpacking, which I thought was a good motto. Mm -hmm. But um, I still live in Italy half the year, not all at once, but back and forth all the time. Mm -hmm. Is there any place you haven't been yet that you'd like to go? Oh, there's so many places, lots of places. Lots of places in Italy, because Italy's just such a vastly diverse country. You'd need at least five lifetimes to see to say you knew it, you couldn't possibly really know it without five lifetimes. Is there any place outside of Italy that you're also thinking of? Well, Maybe India, visiting? India, I've never been to India. I'd love to go there. Uh -huh. I'd like to see more of Morocco, more of Greece. I've been there, but not enough. Would you maybe write about that, or would you just like to go and enjoy yourself? Both. I love writing while traveling because you get the experience of travel, but you also get to kind of double that experience if you put it down in words. So uh, for me, doing the research while traveling really just enriches the whole experience. Yes, well, I'm looking forward to what, what, whatever your travels take you to, well, whatever you. your new books take you. Do you. Are you working on something now that you want to tell us about? I'm just about to launch into a new project, but it's so amorphous at this point. I don't really know. Uh -huh. <laughs> and now would this be nonfiction, like your memoirs, or, or will we go back to novel writing? I'm kind of thinking of writing a novel, but I have to get my hands around it. I haven't quite gotten there yet. Yes. Do you find sometimes when you start a book that you're not really quite sure where it's going to go? And I never know where it's going, but that's the adventure of, of writing, I think. If you just jump off the cliff and dive in where you can. It's uh, the best. Yes, well we are so glad that you could come and I hope that you'll come back to Dahlonega to visit and 
come to some of the other restaurants that we enjoy. Definitely. I love to come back. Thank you.